Well, the Down Animal Zone, we're in a very special house because it happens to be my son and my daughter-in-law's house, Chris Von <laughs> Wiesenberger. And we got his dog, Monty, and of course, Laura Stinchfield, the pet psychic, is with us. And I guess we're going to find out a little bit about Monty, but tell me, how old is Monty? You know, Monty, uh, he's going to be five in July, so he's, uh, he's a younger guy for sure, and definitely still acts like it. Frenchies are uh, usually, they live for about what, 8 to 12 years, something like that? Yeah, you know, you can get some up to 14 years or so. And, but they have a lot of health issues, don't they? That's true. They do indeed. One of the big challenges, I mean, I guess vet bills yeah. are astronomical. Well, uh, thankfully I did vet insurance early on. Oh, that was smart. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it's, a, it's, it's, it's an uphill battle with the dogs, but they're a lot of love. Has well, he it. had any issues? He has, yeah. He's had, uh, he's had surgery back here. Um, when he was probably about two years old, Ooh. he had a, uh, a protruding disc that oh. gave him some neurological issues. So that was a surgery that we did in Texas, um, and he made you know nearly a full recovery. Yeah, he and, looks good. Yeah, yeah. And and they also, I guess, are incredible family dogs. They love kids. Yeah, and they uh, do. very affectionate. Very affectionate. We actually have a, a friend of ours staying here with their six-month-old. And he, uh, he's been, every chance he gets, he goes up and just licks the baby all over the face and really wants to be friends with them. Yeah, he's, he's, he's really a lover. He's a big lover. So Monty has a lot of things that he wants to tell you, right, Laura? Yeah, he was already saying that he wants to say something about his kid. Monty, what was it that you wanted to say about your kid? What, he wants to know if she's going to be able to play a tug game with him. Mm. He wants to know if he can sleep on the same pillow with her. Oh, so he wants to sleep in her bed, okay. You think she wants to pick flowers with you? She's young though, how old is she? She's 13 months now. Oh. Yeah, not quite walking. You think you, the two of you are gonna love to pick flowers together? That's awfully sweet. He said, I, he, he was wondering if he could tell you something about his bowl of food, that there's like more treats that he wants in it. But I, I almost think it's like vegetables or something. Or it's more something. veggies. Yeah. Interesting, okay. He wants more veggies in his food. He says he likes them dropped in his bowl right after he eats. Veggies in his bowl, that's okay. interesting because last night after dinner he was, uh, he was very interested in some carrots. Oh. Yep. He says he wants to go to the beach with buckets. Buckets. Oh. Like build sand castles and stuff at the beach? Wow. He says that if there's a park outing, he wants to make sure that he gets to go. He's been included a lot recently. Oh, yeah. oh he, he wanted to tell his mom that when she does her skin routine, that she could wash his face with a washcloth. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds appropriate. <laughs> okay. Oh, he says, when my dad gets stressed out, I think my dad needs to go work out or go move with nobody around. <laughs> <laughs> he knows me really well, that's right. <laughs> Although sometimes he comes and visits in the gym. Oh. He will come to the gym, but. Everybody is like this? Yeah, later, everybody needs their alone time. Everybody needs their alone time? I believe that that's true, but not really you. He says he likes to have company most of the time. <laughs> yeah, that would be right. <laughs> How does Monty love like the kitties that are here? There's two cats. Oh my God, there's two kitties. How come you didn't mention them? Yeah. What do you think about your kitties? They can be kind of sassy to me. He says he doesn't always know how he stands with them. Mm. He says he would like to lie with them more, but they don't. he doesn't think they're into it. Is that true? That's about right, yeah. I mean... How old are they? They're not quite a year yet. Oh, so they're young. Yeah, they're young old kids. Well, honey, they're, they're young. They'll start to lie with you, probably. They will, they will. If he's on the R bed, they'll, they'll come and cuddle with him a little oh, bit. Oh, see? You gotta let him get a little bit older. But, yeah. Uh... They're gonna be fun for you to... I think they leave me out. You think they leave you out? <laughs> he says he sometimes feels like an outsider with them. Is it because they play with each other? Yeah, they're pretty independent of each other, and he's kind of—he can be kind of a rough house sometimes. Oh, you think that's what it is? He's yeah, playing too rough. I, so you know what it is—is is that because they're kind of smaller than you, you're playing a little bit too rough. So maybe if you kind of toned it down a little bit yeah. and didn't play so rough, maybe they'd play with you more. You know, like maybe don't put all your weight on them or go to them too. Well, I bet they're pretty fast. So just don't put all your weight on them. I think the same can be said about him playing with all dogs or animals. Oh, He's and just... all animals. So that's maybe something you could work on. Because you're kind of a tank. <laughs> yeah, you know? That's very so true. maybe see if you could kind of have a little bit more body control. <laughs> you know, something I did want to talk to you about is kind of some behavior we've noticed with him. 
you know, behavior that we've seen his whole life, but it's become more apparent of sort of what it is. And, and you know, it used to be something we would say no to and, mm -hmm. um, you know, ac activities like chasing the vacuum or, you know, barking at the door, that kind of stuff. And, and when it kind of annoyed us, you know, I would say in the last couple of weeks, we're realizing it's really just his kind of protecting um, of Sloan and then uh, his sister who unfortunately actually, uh, his sister dog who passed away oh. uh, last uh, Tuesday. Last yeah. Tuesday? Last Tuesday we had to oh put her down. Oh my gosh, how sad. Yeah. And so then he was protecting his human sister from the vacuum cleaner? That's right. As soon as he saw the vacuum cleaner yeah. and her come around the corner, he went after the vacuum cleaner. When she wasn't there, he was less interested in the oh. vacuum cleaner. And so, what do we want to tell him about this? We want to tell him it's not really his job. You're the protector. Well, no, I want to tell him. I guess that we're we're not mad at him for 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 acting out like that. We understand now that why he did it. Okay. You know why why he does the things he does. It's because that's what he wants to do, is is protect. Okay. So did you understand what Daddy was saying? He wants to say that he was sorry that he got mad at you before your sister passed away when you guys were at the beach and you got kind of intense with the other dogs that he understands that you were protecting and that also you're protecting your your kid's sister from the vacuum cleaner right and so you're very very good protector but i want to tell you that the vacuum cleaner picks up dirt and fur and it's 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 controlled by a human and so your sister a hundred percent is safe around the vacuum cleaner. All right, like you can kind of let it go when you see the <laughs> vacuum cleaner. And the best way to know if you should be protective or not is to look at mom and dad and see if they feel like they're in danger. And then you can step it up. But before that, just maybe it's kind of okay, you know? Maybe mom and dad can handle it and you could just be in joy. You not be so rough. Well, Laura, that was great. Thank you for uh, tapping into Monty's mind. Oh, and my Chris, pleasure. thank you for having us oh, here no, today. Thank you guys. Yeah. It's it really pleasure. good to hear and into Monty's mind a little bit well, more. Ho hopefully, we'll hear great news about Monty and his adaption to things like vacuums. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe he can use it, use it and clean up himself. I was going to yeah. say, you might be, bad, huh? be a little helpful. Hey, you all. Thanks for watching. Didn't you just love Monty? He was so cute. I just love that episode. Well, I'm coming on here today because I wanted to let you know that I've got a YouTube Live coming up. So leave some questions for, for me to answer in the comment section of this video. And make sure you subscribe so that you can be notified exactly when it's going to be. It'll be in the next couple of weeks. I look forward to seeing y'all. Every time I count my blessings, I count you. Every time I count my blessings, I count you first. Every time I count.